All right, all right, all right, Taurus. They can't ignore us, baby. It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Beaver. It is Scorpion, Red, Tarot. I am back at it again. I am back at it again. Listen, you guys, I'm having to do a rerun on y'all's reading. Um, you guys might have a bonus reading come out because I got really, really sick when um, I did the the um, Zodiac Die Shuffle and you guys came out. I can't even remember if I did a love reading for you guys, if I did um, the Inner Self uh, Guidance readings for you. I, like, I don't know what the hell I did. <laughs> like, I'm not even about to hold you. So, I'm about to just scrap it and start all over. We're going to reset with fresh energy. I'm not even about to lie. I'm still a little congested. I got my tea over here. Got me some good Anglon tea. So if I'm, uh, you know, clearing myself up a little bit, that's what's going on. But I'm going to get this content out. Ain't nothing going to hold me down, baby. Ain't nothing going to hold me down, baby. So listen, Taurus, I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. Thank y'all for everybody for being patient. But we back at it, okay? So let me just take a quick sip. Lord Jesus, yes. Oh, Woo! All right, we're going to get up into this. All right, Taurus, so you already know I want to give a shout-out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout-out to all my newbies, to all of my babies for like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. Um, again, this video that we're going to do right here is for the inner self guided message. Your inner self, what your inner self wants to tell you right now so that you can be where you need to be, all right? So it's like an inner self talk energy. So um, I want to... Uh, before we get into anything, let's just give God acknowledgement and, and praise and thanks. So, Father God, thank you so much for um, collectively bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. You know that they can't ignore us. Thank you for standing in our life. Thank you for bringing us security and just anchoring us in. Father God, we're going to continue to march long and strong and aim, you know, towards uh, all of our blessings and everything that we've been trying to manifest. Because, you know, we want longevity and and, and um prosperity in our life so father god thank you so much for healing us thank you so much for uplifting us and bringing joy and um positive reinforcements in our life in jesus name amen amen and amen all right all right so we're going like i said we're going to start all over we want to get some inner self-guided messages for taurus let's get into this taurus let's see what we got to say what is your inner self guidance inner self want to tell yourself right now what is the inner self got message for the sign of Taurus and again this is a timeless reading whenever you guys reach it and receive it is when you need to hear it all right so let's see Taurus what is the inner self got it mess okay right off the top we got the life review card all right life review all right, we looking over everything. We reprioritizing. We recalibrating. We restructuring. So life review and then clear cognizance. Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. So right now, clear cognizance is your uh, personal strength. Pay attention to your feelings and your thoughts as things are just like happening. And that's why you're having to do this life review. Your strength of clear cognizance is is growing. Pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to when you're around certain people, certain um, environments. What type of ideas, what type of thoughts come into mind? Have it be positive or negative? It'll tell you a lot of things. It'll tell you how to restructure what you need in your life and what you need to replace certain things with. It says life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas as they come to you, as they are answered prayers. So you're doing a lot of recalibrating, a lot of restructuring right now. And you see that, that earthy green. So you're focusing more on your health. Focusing a lot on your health your body I feel like um as we are getting older it's like you're growing more into your body and your body's needs and as you're getting older it's like your body is changing and it's needing different things not only just like 
your internal body, um, but your body's environment. It's just certain things that may make you uncomfortable now. Um, things are changing around you and just, and I feel like you're changing with your body and the environment. Your body doesn't need certain things anymore. Um, maybe drinking more water, less liquor, less wine and things like that. It's just like, I don't know. It, it may become boring. <laughs> it's just it's like certain things just uh, are not doing what it used to do for you anymore and I want to say like before it wasn't bringing you any type of um, imbalance or, and you know like dissatisfaction but like now it is it's just like mm, I need something new it's just like I need a new spark of life I need some type of new inspiration or whatever whatever that is that you used to do or you used to go around or used to hang with you used to eat it's just like life changes it's like you you don't your taste buds have shifted like it's something that you could have eaten like you could have woke up every morning eating bacon egg and cheese sandwich because like did you been eating it for years but just all of a sudden it's like your body don't want pork no more it's too salty you know what I'm saying? So it's like your body is rejecting, you know? So it's like you might want to eat more cleaner. And it's like, you okay? So like now instead, you eat egg whites and um, avocado toast with a little salt and pepper and some um, home fries on the side. You know, it's like more healthier and it's more... I don't know, you feel, your, your body just feels, but okay, baby, you were doing a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. But you did have the death card in the reverse. I am going to acknowledge that. So it's like, you're definitely getting over something. Or somebody or something could be getting over you. It's just part of the process. It's like, I just heard shift and move. I heard it was for rejuvenation. And I just heard you wanted to plant something somewhere else. It wasn't fertile ground. So it's something where it's like maybe you had to do a shift and move. Um, I just heard you paid your restitution. What the fuck is going on here? It's like somebody, it's like you paid your respect. You paid your dues. Like, um, and I just heard there's no point of crying over spilt milk. It's like something that needed to happen is it's, it's what I'm Yeah, I just heard new life, restructuring, rebuilding. It's like it, it's something that needed to, it's more moral, or more, oh, I can't say it. It's like I want to say moral. Why I keep saying moral? I'm trying to say more, more. Why I can't say it more, more stable, fertile ground, but it's like I'm saying moral instead of more. So it's like, it's saying moral, moral, stable, fertile ground. Moral, stable, fertile ground. But I could have just said more. I don't know why I kept trying to come out like that. It's like a moral, stable, fertile ground. So you have the um, six of coins in the reverse. And it's saying again something about I'm, I'm done paying my restitution. And um, this is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So, what's at the bottom? It's like the strength in the reverse too. So, let's just take this. I just heard like some type of attach, uh, attachment. Um, it's like some type of addiction of giving or feeling needy uh like you I, and they're saying overdue restitution so i want to say i can't do it no more it's like i can't feed you i can't take care of you i can't give to you no more um someone just said it was a sacrifice in my living so it's like if someone it's a situation where someone can't like aid and take care and produce favor for someone anymore it's like I can't continue to aid you because I'm not able to take care of myself it's like keep giving um a loan to someone who can't pay it back someone that's always going through some type of worry and some type of uh stressful 
bad situation, someone that's not like doing what they need to do um, on their own accord to take care of their own needs. It's like someone's like playing victim and like always has their hand out. Um, I just heard saying, give me some money. It's like always asking for something and it's always like some type of woe is me. And it's like, I can't. It's something about this life review. It's like out of and this person paying attention to how they feel. Like every time it's like someone is coming to someone with this victim story or this victim mentality, or it's like needing a pick me up, needing a uh a helping hand, or it's it's like so isn't but it's like they're never able to do it for themselves. It's like someone is like fighting back this time and it's like okay well your story's not working today like you can easily just go and like apply for assistance for yourself it's like I can't continue to give you aid I can't continue to give you a helping hand it's like something has ended something is over like I don't um why I'm seeing someone's like stepping over someone <laughs> like I'm literally seeing it's like someone in some type of corridor, it's like begging like for forgiveness or asking for help or asking for money, asking for aid. Like basically like trying to tell someone like I can't do something without you. Like if you don't help me, like how can I survive? And it's like we'll figure it out because and it's not that this person is it is is being mean, but it's like I have to pay attention. I have to take care of myself this time. And it's like, I'm really doing a disjustice for you, Keep. I'm standing in the way of you learning how to take care of yourself and, and, and be your own boss, be your own entity. It's like you're never be the queen you should be. It's like you're constantly going to be. I just heard crying over picket fences. Wow, I've never heard that before. But I'm literally seeing someone like laying over like a white picket fence, like crying, like, and it's like everyone is seeing this shit. And it's like, I don't know if it's like this person is looking for someone to give them some type of pick me up. And it's like, until someone learns that no one is coming to your rescue and you just laying yourself out there to look stupid and look weak. Like, that's what you're making yourself look like. And it's like, no one is coming to your rescue. It's like, in, in, in order for you to do what you needed to do for yourself, it's like you have to let this person go and kind of go up for their self. Um, I can't keep dating. I can't. It's like, that part of my life is over. Like, I've done enough. Like, I paid my restitution. I paid. And it's something about... Taurus constantly giving to something where it's like no return. It's like it's like it's going to deplete your funds. It's like it's, you're never going to get a return because it's it's always something. Like it's it's always something with this person or or whatever it is. It's like or I don't know if this is you personally, which I'm not getting because it's like the six of coins. It's like you guys constantly giving to 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 a personality that that is like always in need always going through some type of trauma always like emotionally distraught or and it's like man i can't i can't carry this on anymore it's it's not producing it's not bearing any fruits and then at the bottom you got the blessing in disguise so i am going to take that card so these are like um daily guidance oracle cards so you got blessing in disguise you got a child and then you have giving and receiving hmm so i just heard grown woman do what grown woman is supposed to do um i don't think this has anything to do with Taurus's kids Okay, so I'm looking at this Six of Pentacles card in the reverse, right? Um, it's like, okay, so this is the one with the Ace of Pentacles, right? You have two people here, two beggars or two situations where it's like 
people are asking you for something because again it's like giving and receiving but it's like which one is more balanced which one is more balanced it's like this one is it's needing three pinnacles this one is needing two pinnacles and you only have one but it's like this one with the three pinnacles it's like I'm hearing it's like they can produce for themselves. It's like I feel like you only thing you have to do is show them because it's like they have the skills and the skill set. It's like showing someone how to fish and teaching them how to be a fisherman versus keep having to give to you know what I'm saying? It's something about this person has more to offer and I feel like more stable like this one could have a job or could it just be laid off and just need like public assistance for right now because they're they're laid off but they don't mind working it's like they just need help or like you might not have to give this person actual money you just might need to point them out to um, someone that's hiring right now, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, they'll be more thankful and have more gratitude for you just offering a helping hand and pointing them in the right direction versus this one, where it's like, you might, you might have to give them the last thing that, that you have, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you only have one pinnacle and it's like, do I want to give it to this person? And it's like, they're not going to be able to give it back because... The two of pentacles in the reverse is something off balance. It's like they're going to have to reduce something and go back to ground one. Because it's like something about having to juggle responsibility this person can't handle. It's like they need someone to tell them every step, every footing or something like that. It's like they need to go back. Um... While I'm here in like elementary schools, it's like literally going back to learning A, B, C's, one, two, threes, and stuff like that. It's like this person, um, I wouldn't say like has a learning disability, either that or they're just lazy and they just don't want to play their part. It's like they want someone to do everything for them. It's like, have you ever been around someone that's like, I'm not going to do it for you. I will show you how to do it and then catch an attitude and, and catch a hissy pit. It's like, why you can't just do it for me? You've already done it for me like a thousand. I don't feel like doing it for you this time. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of me dealing with your attitude and fucking, like, this is your problem. This is not my problem. This is, this is your problem. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit here and it's like, you need my help. And then you're going to catch an attitude because I don't want to do it your way. No, like, I'll rather focus my energy on this person over here that we can make money together. They may be in a fucked up situation right now, but at least they got a better attitude. And they ain't even asking me for money. They just asking me for assistance and, and, and like, a guided hand right now. Like, they just, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, like, a different scenario. It's a different scenario. And, it's, and, and especially with this giving and receiving in this child here, it's about what you're raising. And again, it's something about producing, um, being able to bear fruit. Yeah, being able to bear fruit. Wow. Is it like, is Taurus like um, having a life review? about what type of people they have in their life right now and who they can bear fruit with and who they can't. I just heard life lessons in return. Wow, what the fuck does that mean? It's like I'm giving something to you as well as they're giving... Like you're giving something to them and they're giving something to you. It may not be like the same return, but it's something that can grow. It's something that, um, like a child, it's like the energy and the love and the intention that you put into your children will determine like what type of fruit you bear in the future. It's like if you 
really dedicate and nurture and build and develop and put your time into your children. When they get older, like they will take care of you. Um, you will see the success stories in the fruit that you bear, you know? So it's like, it's something about value time in, in, in this life review process. It's like, um, this death card is, is very serious. It's because I'm more focused on my future and what tomorrow looks like. It's like, I can't focus on the past. I can't focus on things that I can't change. So that's why I'm saying it's something that was like, the Taurus will walk over you. If like, if you don't have yourself together, it's because the Taurus does not have it's like the Taurus doesn't have the strength or the energy to like put up with someone that is not fighting their self. You know, it's like, I don't want to hear your sob stories. Like, I, I really don't, you know, and it's like, um, I don't know if a child, um, if someone is, is thinking about a child or like, um, like a new life. It's like a new birth. You know what I'm saying? It's like a new birth of yourself. It doesn't have to be like a physical child. It could be a physical child, but because even you see how that kangaroo has a baby in the pouch and how the angel is giving to this mother because it's like what you give to that kangaroo, that kangaroo then provides for their offspring. And, and it's like a lineage of some, of some sort. Like passing down something. It's like you can't pass down nothing to this Queen of Cups in the reverse because I'm here and I hate to keep this overused word, but it's like a narcissist. It's like this person is just going to consume it all and then have their hand out for more. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like you need to put that back into the earth or you need to put it back into something. But it's like this one can't bear any fruit. Or it's not about bearing fruit. It's like, <clears throat> well, let me just keep going. It's not about not being able to bear fruit. It's like I feel like this this Queen of Cups in the reverse could bear fruit. And again, this could be a Pisces, uh, Scorpio, Cancer individual, Sagittarius as well. Um. And we got Scorpio here with the death card. It's not that this person can't bear fruit. It's like the mindset of this individual is like, um, again, it's like, woe is me, low self-esteem, victim mentality, um, not dusting yourself off, not cleaning yourself up. It's like not... I want to say it's like it's not a good mother energy. It's like you, you wouldn't be passing down good etiquette traits remember when I was saying I was trying to say more before but it's like I kept saying moral instead of more I couldn't get out more it was like more of moral so it's like from a moral standpoint it's like I would rather have a more loving more nurturing more catering more emotionally adept um It's just like in general, um, a good person, like in the reverse, it's like this person can be very emotionally manipulative, a worry war, a worry wart. Like not a very positive and outgoing mindset. See, someone could always have a frown on their face. I have some type of emotional disruption about some type of petty shit or something always the cup is half empty type of half empty in the cup ain't even type of clean it's like, it's like the cup ain't clean like the dishes is dirty like I don't know I'm getting like damn I just heard a cesspool like what the fuck I'm not getting good and I'm getting like arguments and like a whole bunch of like Negative energy. It's like give, 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 give. And it's like. Ugh. That's 
I say stepping over life overview, step over you. I have to write that down. <laughs> Cause like that's what I'm hearing. It's like life overview, step over you. I'm stepping around it. It's like I don't I, I, what? What? Okay, so this is number two. Life over view step over you okay let's get these final cards and we're gonna wrap it up Taurus and we're gonna get to love and I am gonna I am gonna post that other video because it, it may be connected I'm gonna tell y'all the title it's um Divine order, learning how to respect the empress. And it's like this blessing in disguise here. So it's like some type of whole type of life overall overhaul. It's like, I can't even remember what the reading was about. And I don't remember if it was in a self-guided message or if it was a love message. I really can't remember, but we're going to see when I'm just going to drop it. I'm just going to drop it. What is this? Yeah, you got the page of wands. It's like you got a whole new aspect of life. This could be um, childbirth as well because it's like a whole bunch of excitement. It's like excite. I'm just seeing, I, I did just see like a pickup energy, like a pick me up. I just heard it's like an invitation to see somebody. It's like a pick me up. And I am kind of getting someone like excited to see like a newborn. It's like. But it, it I want to say it's like a new experience. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a newborn. You could be a newborn into the situation. You could be brand new, brand, like fresh, fresh, like a new arrival. So you might be showing up um, brand new. Yeah. I just heard like your life is in transition. It's like you're moving onward. You see the horse in um, the baby's hand. So you may have, um, I, well, I'm getting like a new fragrance, a new cologne, a new uh, perfume or something. It's like um, that new baby smell. You know what I'm getting? Like that new baby smell. And while getting like the soft feet. Like you know like how when babies are just learning how to kind of. Oh gosh. I can't right now. It's like you know like babies it's like getting excited to learn how to walk again. Like that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like I've seen everyone doing this for a while. It was like, I'm finally getting my footing together and I'm finally taking my first steps. And you know, when a baby first learns how to take his first few steps, they think they can run all butts, right? So it's just like, I'm getting like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And they're like, you know. <laughs> and under the deck, you have the four swords. So like, okay. You guys could have most, because again, that is a, like another death card. It's like you guys could have taken some time to yourself. It's like a mental evaluation. And, 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 and the fourth war definitely has to do with death, mourning, um, cause sometimes I do see the death card as like someone coming to pay their respects. It's like something has passed over. It's gone. Like bereavement. It's like some level of bereavement. So uh, it's like, um, Taurus, you could have taken like, um, a couple of weeks, like maybe four weeks, uh, four months four days like some time to yourself to um, where it's like you weren't talking to nobody and I'm seeing that crown chakra um, and on my wall is saying crown chakra I understand it's and it's saying helps 
with the healing of personal losses and grief. So you guys might be um, using a lot of amethyst crystals right now. Or you could have been. Just a lot of purple. Because that's where my eyes is going through the crown chakra. It's like. I feel like the color purple is significant. But. Um, like yeah. It's like I understand why I had to like. It's not that. it. Okay. Can, can I break this down? And then you got the world card. Like right under here. So I got to take this too. And you got the wheel of fortune i did not even realize that the wheel of fortune in the world card just popped up so y'all y'all okay come on now taurus please taurus you will not ignore us taurus said listen i got something to say and it's like i mean it but i mean it with like all good intentions it's like i have to focus on my life purpose and that's why i had to have this life review um you could be focusing on a big fish you could be feeling like, um, why well, I feel like giddy, excited, <laughs> like, um, you're, you're stepping into like a phase of happiness. I want to say like for once in your life, it's something like you were really excited. <laughs> you were really excited. And it's like, um, I want to say it's like you're getting this butterflies in your stomach because it's like, I finally had this strength of, um, Feeling like I could walk over something that I don't need in my life right now. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm like over that situation. Like I'm, I'm finally ready to, okay, to be restored in a way. Like I'm, it's like you're living and you're stepping into and being invited, mind you, into a chapter of your life where it's like you're finally catching the big fish. You're finally seeing some type of success. You're finally seeing growth. It's like you're stepping into the good days. It's like the winner's circle. You might realize like your colleagues and your friends are changing. I want to say it's like anybody in like a mindset of lack. Anything that's in a, a pick me, pick me energy or woe is me always needed. Like you don't even hang around like that destitution type of energy no more it's like I don't even want people around me that need me for the wrong reasons I want people around me that are going to teach me how to fish type of thing like we're out fishing but I did not say that earlier it was like like you're excited you're excited it's like you're not you don't have to give anymore to the less fortunate it's like um People are picking you up. Like, like even if you don't have a car, like you, I, and I'm not saying that you don't have a car, um, but it's like you're just now learning how to walk. So it's like, you know, come on, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you're excited. You're excited. And it's like, I don't, it's like I'm not depleting my energy. I'm not depleting my funds. Like, um, it's like I'm around people that we can learn together or, it's like someone giving something to you at this time because it's like this for this if this person gives to you it's going to go to the four pentacles because the four pentacles and an upright is someone that is a miser it's like what they got they're not easily given to no fucking body if it's not coming back it gotta be it's like it's going in their safety deposit box you know what i'm saying they're not just going to go and blow it you know what i'm saying like if you need it in return, they're going to be able to go in that safety deposit box because what you gave to them, they put it away. They utilized it and the purpose that it was supposed to. It gained interest. They could pay you back with interest. And like you can you could take a loan. For, they could take a loan from you and you could take a loan from them. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what you are doing now is going to increase in value it's going to gain interest it's not going to deplete your savings it's like you're learning how to best utilize your time hanging around people of better moral quality is what i'm getting 
you are like the little fisherman this time and you're hanging around big fish <laughs> like Taurus you're hanging around big fish you're the little guy this season and it's okay and I feel like you're so excited because you're learning to be in the winner circle now I feel like I want to change the title hold on okay Learning to be in a winner's circle. Learning the winner's circle. I love that. I really love that. And now I'm coming back to the clear cognizance. Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas as they come to you. They're answered prayers. So, again, with this energy here, with this page of wands, it brings a lot of incitement. It brings a lot of newness. And again, it's like an offer, an invitation. Um, like you are being invited to like show your skills, to impress upon other people. Um when you step into this circle, you want to understand to change your frequency, to change your energy. It's like, I want to say it's like when you go home, you still have butterflies in your stomach. You can't, uh, uh, it's like you can't even believe that you are having this experience. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you want to go again and again and again and again. And it's like you may be constantly visiting this group this winter circle and i see I, I see like this umbrella right here you see it's like you're covered like you're protected you're protected you're in the giving and receiving winter circle and again you are a child you're just a baby like everything this whole life overhaul this review and again, it's, it, it, and I don't want anybody to feel no type of way if Taurus had to step over you. But they had to do this life review. And it's like I can't. Because if, if Taurus was too busy constantly giving and paying attention to this type of frequency that they had to walk over, they would have never been invited into this winter circle. I mean, this is new. That. They're a, they're a child. They're a baby in this energy. It's like they've been birthed. It's like this life has been given to them as a gift almost. You know what I'm saying? It's like God has been watching over Taurus. God has been seeing his growth. And it's like you were being born onto a new life, onto a new mother. You know what I'm saying? So I want to say like you are being passed on to another spiritual guy, uh, Taurus. And not to go too deep, but... I want to say like you have a new spiritual um, mother, like a, a, a like an earthly spiritual guy, um, because this is the new part of your story. Like this is the second chapter. This is the chapter of when things are like um, you get into the good part of this story. So it's like you're having to learn how to move differently. It's like adapting to when you were going through that struggle phase of your life and you didn't really have a lot of security. You were having a lot of disruptions and infractions and like it could be someone um, being released from a maximum security prison. <laughs> like, yeah, because in my past life, I was fucking up. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you're in this new chapter, this new phase of your life. It's like you almost forgot that you were a criminal. Like no one even knows that you were a criminal in your past life. And even when you tell them about this shit, it's like they love these stories. It's just like, wow, you have such a, um, you have such a testimony. You know what I'm saying? You have such a testimony. It's like people almost couldn't even believe that that's where you came from. And it's like you're learning 
how to be on the other side of the fence, like the good side of life. It's like your business is going great. Your family is going well. You got new social groups like you're learning new create. You're learning new creative shit like you're being mother. You're being guided like and it's, it's I want to say it's like someone is taking you under their wing like you're their baby you know what i'm saying it's like i'm about to show you how good shit is over here like this is how we do shit over here you know what i'm saying like you good you know um it's like a very nurturing energy it's like i want to say like even when you because it's like a baby you so excited you want to be moving so fast and it's like they almost tripping and falling like let me pick you up i got you you know what i'm saying like this motherfucker crazy you know just excited and they understand your excitement and it's like it's like when they get to know you more and know your your story i want to say it's like you're gonna find a way to do something with your story um i want to say like you have a story <laughs> like you have a story you have a story like everything is a blessing in disguise because I, I really don't feel like um me having to start off with talking about how you um having to learn not to give and to walk over um an old situation a group of friends um colleagues or whatever it was and it's like now you're um fresh and new in this new chapter of your life where you're um, I just like I, I I can't it's like I wish I could tell you more but just no you see you see how the fish is almost jumping into the boat <laughs> like he didn't even have to like put his line out it's like you're in a, a good spot it's like you like the early bird gets the worm it's like you got out there so early Whoever this is, is training and teaching you how to fish. I just heard you doing it with no rope. You're like, you're doing it without no anchor. It's like, you go into the right spot at the right time. And you just put your boat there. And you just look up at the sun and smile. And it's like, the fish just start jumping out of the water into your fucking boat. You ain't have to do shit. And it's like, life is this good? Is that, it, 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 it's that easy? It's that easy. It's that easy. It is that easy. Anyway, I'm going to go. I just, I love this energy. I love this energy. And I just want to say, um, you were prepared and spared. And congratulations. And welcome to the winner's circle, you guys. This has been your reading. Y'all hit that like button. Now I'm about to go do your love reading. We're going to figure out what's going on in love. All right. Let's say we claim this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tell a friend. Y'all hit me. I love you. Peace.